got some watermelons to pick because what I read is when when these things turn brown right here that's connected to the melon that means it's ready this one I know is ready because the stem is just done for see these are eat brown that's connected to the melon There's one brown right there, this, this thing. That one's brown right there. Take a little thing right there. That's supposedly what that means. What I read. Look at this little bitty thing. See, there's, it's still green. So that one's still going. That one over there. It looks like it might still be green, but see this one here? That's brown. This one here. See it? That's brown right here. They may not be huge melons. I got a couple of good sized ones. So <sighs> I need to load them up in the back of the UTV so I can't carry them all. I got some cantaloupe ready. I have to come back and look. It's making that noise over there on the barn. Sometimes it's buzzards. I usually port, perch up on top of the barn. But, yep. Still got cantaloupe growing all inside here. So, we'll let them keep going. But. What the heck was that? Oh, sound like a tree fell. Over there by the creek. Why is that blown down like that? Was it the wind? It's interesting. I got some tomatoes to pick too. Look at all those. that donkey hear him all the time yeah I got some tomatoes to come pick being it's nice and overcast not extremely hot let's go do that here we go okay I got some watermelon to pick See if I could reach over. Can I reach over and set them in here? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, man, I didn't get any scissors. Cutter, because these stems are tough. Let's go get that.
this one's done. It's got the white yellow spot and the stem part is brown. I think I ended up with four. Yeah, I think I ended up with four. That I ended up with four that looked like they were ready. Got the yellow spot. Look at the cows over here chilling underneath this. How you guys doing? some tomatoes. These aren't cherry tomatoes, but they're big ones. I can't remember what they're called. I'll have to look it up, see if I still got the seeds. I let those go a little bit longer. Okay, that's that's enough for now. Man, I got a couple of cucumbers too. One. I'm pretty much done on cucumbers, but I'll bring it anyway. Maybe I'll make some cold pickles. The big one in here is probably too, too ripe. Too many seeds when they get that big. Another big one. There's one tucked back in here in the... Oh. Holy cow, there's another big one. That's probably too ripe. Next time I'm gonna try a zucchini. 
is you can make zucchini spag spaghetti with it. That's what I read. I think I'm gonna try that. Anybody ever made zucchini spaghetti? Best best zucchini noodles. Where'd it go? I just saw it there. Where? Okay, done with that. Rest of these watermelons I'll get later after that little stem. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it almost looks like it could be ready. <laughs> I call that a watermelon bite. <laughs> but I'm almost done with watermelons, it looks like. Just a few more to go. Done with the green beans. I can pull these up. I did the corn, I pulled the corn up, so I was done with the corn. Zucchini, I think I'm done with the zucchini so I can pull this up. So I'll do that later. Sun's coming out, starting to warm up. This is heavy. This is heavy. Let's see if I got any tomatoes over here. I can go ahead and pick. Let's get this one. It's splitting. And there's one way down there. Yeah, yeah we'll go ahead and get it. Yeah, sun's coming up. It's starting to warm up now. I think we'll go ahead and get this big one. It's got something. Maybe birds chewing on it. I don't know, but it's still big enough to. I thought I had another one over here, too. Another big one that's ready. Yep, yeah, it's ready. Big ones down there too. No, I'll come back down later. Okay, let's go take this up there. Oh. This is heavy. Scissors out of my pocket. Oh, not scissors. Snips. Speaking of snips, I mean, these aren't snips, but back, my first job was with a phone company. And I was in the engineering department, so I grew up plans for the running the phone lines and all that stuff. But they made us get out in the field a few times to work to get used to know what all the guys do. So I got to get out there and I remember getting a pair of snips that phone companies use that all the phone guys use or have. I think, I can't remember what brand it was, but they were Swiss made. And I swear you could, you could cut through a dime with it. I'm going to go ahead and hook the fence back up because I'm done in here. My dog got to touch the electric fence again. I was in the garage and all of a sudden I heard her yelping and running. She was, she took off and ran back to the house, 90 miles an hour. I got it, I got it on the security camera. You see her touch the fence. But anyway, the security camera can see her down here. Tiny, it's hard to see, but she, she comes over here, right about in here, touches the fence.
leaps up and just takes off running that way yelping so she's learned to stay away from the electric fence i think that was only the second time she's touched it i think this time convinced her okay let's take these back to the house to look at my rain gauge over here see what it shows we got here up by the house it shows we got almost an inch yep same thing three quarters of an inch almost an inch but that little bit of rain we got keeps popping through the fabric tough stuff just stay on it i've touched that electric fence once it's a nice little tingle but anyway with that rain we got my barrels are these two are filled back up i mean the 825 gallon stuff has been full for a long time we've just had enough rain to keep it full but those filled up again Okay, now I'm done. I'll take care. Be good. All that good stuff. Bye.